Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the first question of the 2025 IMO for you guys. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, this question looks a bit scary, right? But it's okay, we'll go through it together. So why don't we first read it? n greater than or equal to three is a given integer and it's asking us to find all non-negative integers k such that there exists n distinct lines that satisfy the first condition a plus b is less than or equal to n plus one and a and b are positive integers and the point a b is on at least one line second condition exactly k out of n lines are sunny now I didn't write the definition of a sunny line on this whiteboard because I wouldn't have enough space to explain the question to you guys. So you can either look back at the question yourself or I'll just explain to you here. A sunny line is a line which is not parallel to either of the x-axis, the y-axis, or y is equal to negative x. Okay? Now, back to the question. I don't really like the first condition. I think it's a bit hard to understand for me. So why don't we try and reword it? Now, the part that is confusing to me is this part, that the point AB is on at least one line. What does that mean? Well, if we try and rephrase this, we see that there are n distinct lines. So if we rephrase that, that means that all of these n lines must pass through all of the dots. I think that makes it a bit easier to understand. Okay? So, what do we do? Well, why don't we first and try out a few simple values of n? Like the simplest value, n is equal to 3. So then, we see that a plus b is less than or equal to 4. And another thing to note, since a and b are positive integers, then if we draw the Cartesian, then we know that these set of dots must be in the quadrant 1. So here I won't actually draw the Cartesian plane. I feel like it takes up too much space. So if you try this on your own, you see that for the case which n is equal to 3, the dots will look like this. It will be in a triangle shape like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, Okay, now I'm just going to tell you the coordinates of these dots just to make sure you don't get confused. This dot is 1, 1. This dot is one is 3, 1. And this dot is 1, 3. Now, you can verify this on your own. If you check out all of these dots in the middle, you see that all of them are less than or equal to 4. Okay, so... We only have three lines to pass through so many dots. And in this case, one plus two plus three amount of dots. So if we generalize it into n amount of lines, then we need n lines passing through how many dots? Well, like I said, in this case, we have one plus two plus three dots. So in the case where n is equal to n, isn't it one plus two plus all the way to n? Yes. And the formula for that is n times n plus 1 over 2. So how is this possible? Well, back to the easiest case. We can actually do this by, look, we can do these lines like this, 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 or you can do it this, 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 or this, this, this. Look, you've done it. But the problem with these lines are that neither of these lines are sunny because they're all either parallel to y to the y-axis, x-axis, or y is equal to negative x. But we've still made some progress because now we have a valid option for k, which is 0. So keep that in mind, k equals to 0 is an option. But there is one exception. So if we keep drawing it like this, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. There is one exception, is there will be one line that passes through only one dot. So what does that mean? 
Well, it means that we can rotate that line however we like. And we can rotate that line such that it is sunny. For example, if you draw vertically, we have one, two, and we can rotate this any way we like. For example, this way. Then it will be sunny. So k is equal to one is also a, an option. Okay? But we see that this is the easiest case. So when n grows large, we have so many dots for n lines to cover. So how is that going to be possible? Well, we would want at least one line to cover as many dots as possible. So which line is that? Well, easily, well, obviously, you can tell that there are just these lines on the side. And we will call these lines side lines. Okay? So, is it possible that, oh, one more thing. The problem with these side lines is neither of them are sunny. Because look, this parallel to, what, to the y-axis, x-axis, y equals to negative x. So, if we want some new values of k, then we would like to think, is it possible that we must have at least one sideline? Is there a case for which we can't, we don't have sidelines? Well, why don't we try and prove that statement? So, if we have the keyword at least, then that means that we need to prove by contradiction. So, why don't we just assume that there are no sidelines? Okay? And another thing I'm going to define is I'm just going to call the dots for which the sidelines cut into to be side dots. Okay? So, I'm just going to extend this case further into n equals to 4 to make it a bit more clear. So, this is the n equals to 4 case. And just not to get you confused, I'll just draw you the sidelines again. So, sidelines are the lines that are on the side of the triangle, just like this one. This is one sideline, this is another, and this is the last sideline. Okay? Okay, so back to our proving. So we are assuming that there are no sidelines. So if we want these end lines to pass through all of these dots, then don't the end lines also have to pass through all of the side dots? Because if these end lines can't even pass through the side dots, then how can they pass through all of the dots, right? Okay, so we need these end lines to pass through how many dots? Well, if we ignore the inside dots for now, we can see that the amount of side dots there are is, I can draw it for you guys, one, two, and three. Look, so three groups of three. And what is three and minus one? So aren't the amount of side dots just three times n minus one? So we need n of these non-side lines to pass through three times n minus one side dots. Now, if we don't have side lines, what is the maximum amount of side dots that one line can pass through? Well, if you try this on your own, you'll see that the maximum is just two. For example, this and that and so forth. So we need at least, okay, so if one line can pass through two dots, then n lines can pass through two n dots, right? So we need at least two n to be greater than or equal to this, right? Because this is only the side dots. So if we unpack this, then we have 3n minus 3. And if we move this around, we can see that n has to be less than or equal to 3. But our condition says that n is greater than or equal to 3. So we see that n has to equal to 3. So the case n is equal to 3 is where we can have no sidelines, which means that this case probably has the most sunny lines possible. So if we draw n is equal to 3, I'll draw it over here. Okay, then 
You can try this on your own, but we can actually have three sunny lines. One, two, and three. Right? You can double check. These three lines are sunny. So k is equal to three is another value. So if we call n equals to three to be the base case, base case, then why don't we see what the generalized case is? And just another note that if n is greater than three, then all of the possible dots must have at least one sideline. That is the most important statement in this question. So I'll rub everything out. So if n is equal to n, then we have, I don't know how many are over here. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. Like this is a random number. Then we have something else. Another random number. Then dot 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 dot. dot two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, so there is a reason that I've called this to be our base case. Okay, so we see that this is obvious, this case is obviously greater than three, right? So with this means that we must have at least one sideline. But we only have a limited amount of lines. So however we draw the sidelines, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, we will actually always go back to our base case. Now, I'll give you an example. If we draw them vertically, then we see here, 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 and then our base case. Now, you can do the same diagonally. This, 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 then our base case over here. Horizontally, this, 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 our base case over here. And like I said, all of these sidelines are not sunny. So once we have went back to our base case, we want new values of k, right? So we already have zero and one, and we see that three is possible, and there aren't any more possible values because all of these are sunny, and however we draw sidelines, they must go back to our base case. So in our base case, we can just do this, okay? And we have to draw these sidelines because once again, if n is greater than three, we must, must have at least one sideline, okay? If you, you can try this on your own. If you draw it horizontally, then the base case will be over here. And then we can still draw it like this. So some of you guys might be wondering, what about k is equal to two? Well, if you draw k, if you try and draw k equals to two here, you can see that it is not possible. So we have proved that the only three values of k is k is equal to zero, one, or three. So this is the final answer to the first question of the 2025 IMO. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my videos and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.